Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Microsoft PC Manager app in any Windows 11 version. So it is pretty simple. For those of you who don't know, Microsoft released the Microsoft PC Manager app for devices in China, but it can be tested and installed in any version and in any region, as long as you do some quick things that I'm going to show you in this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So even though Microsoft announced that they've released the PC Manager app for devices in China. It is pretty simple to install the PC Manager app on any version. So I'm just going to show you in this video. And also I'm going to show you that I'm on version 23H2 inside the Builder 2.2635.3646, which is the latest build for the beta channel. One thing I recommend you to do in order to test basically a lot more features, not only this new app, is to go to region inside settings and then go to region settings. And from the region section, I recommend you set the region to US, United States. I think not only for this but for other features also if you want to test out for example copilot and so on it is recommended to have the country or region set to united states i'm pretty sure that it most likely works on other regions as well but just to be sure you can set it to united states now for that we can just open up a browser and you can type in google for example pc manager microsoft store and the first web page will be this one but of course i'm going to leave you this page in the article below if you just want to get it from there here you're going to have two options the option to download which will just get you the executable file and also the Microsoft Store you can open the Microsoft Store and this will be open automatically inside the Microsoft Store. As you can see, I already have it installed. And from here, of course, you can do updates and so on. So I think it is really, really simple to have it. So you have two options, either get it directly with an executable file or open it up with the Microsoft Store. So as I've said, it is really simple to install it. Now I'm just going to go a quick walk around in the app for those of you who don't know the app properly. And basically, this is an app that will help you optimize your Windows operating system using only only default settings in Windows, no third party things, of course, only what's available in the app or what's available in Windows settings. So you have the overall PC performance here and you can boost it and it will basically boost the RAM memory and also delete temporary files. As you can see, really, really simple. You have protection, which will allow you to see the virus and threat protection, the default settings in Windows, Windows update, default browser settings, taskbar repair and more, storage, where you'll have access to certain duplicate files, storage sense, of course, large files, downloaded files and more, large files, which is also another pretty interesting one, which will scan your PC for large files. Related to apps, of course, you have similar things to Test Manager, Startup Apps, Manage Apps, Microsoft Store. Have a toolbox here, which also has a toolbar available that you can turn on. This toolbar will be available all the time for you. You have a quick boost button, you have a quick screenshot, notepad, Microsoft Edge Quick Links, and also settings related to Microsoft PC Manager. And you have here some Windows tools such as Screenshot, Screenshot Folder, Recorder, Captions, Notepad, Calculator, Edge Quick Links, Bing Translator, Currency Converter, and more. And you have also Restore, which will allow you to restore settings such as the Edge Initial Settings and some general settings to the app, Smart Boost, and automatically start the app when you sign into Windows. I think the app overall is pretty good. It's a good app to test out to see what it can do, but I think it's a fair app. Microsoft, it uses some really easy and useful settings and you can try it out for free of course on any Windows 11 version. So this was the quick video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.